Welcome to Trophy TV. I'm joined by Everton Women's Manager Willie Kerr. Willie, thanks for uh, taking the time to have a chat Not with a problem. us. Not a problem. Um, brought a lot of players in this summer. How difficult is that as a manager to, to get everyone integrated into the squad and, and more importantly than to pick a team from that squad? It's proven more difficult than it should have been. Okay. Because I don't think we've got a great, great changing room, and I think bringing any new player into that changing room is really easy because they're made to feel welcome. Even when we bring in eight, uh, they're top players and, and we've we've done as much homework as we can on personality. So I don't think that side of it is difficult. Probably what has been difficult is the new players have drip fed in during pre-season. Yeah. So we've had a couple in at the start and then a couple after some uh, isolation. And then the three Swedes came in after the Olympics. So that's probably made it difficult because the whole learning process is all at different stages. Yeah. And then when I decided to throw in a brand new system to everybody that has probably confused everything so I think it's been more difficult than it should have been because if I'd brought these eight players into a system that the rest knew yeah. they'd have learnt not just from me but from the players as well I've then thrown a I've then thrown a new system in and it's felt like something new for all 21 players so I've uh, not helped myself there <laughs> I mean, it was a tough start as well. Obviously, two two very tough games. Probably we'll one of the toughest start you could have had. So, the, the games haven't gone probably how you, we would have hoped for them to go. But what have you what have you taken from the game so far? Yeah, we've taken a lot in terms of our quality of player is is getting a lot closer to those teams. Uh, it's then about me getting the best out of that squad to make sure that, and it's an old saying, but to make sure that the sum is greater than the parts, and and we will do that. Uh, we were obviously disappointed with the, the results and the performances, although there was elements of the performance that could have completely changed the result. You know, if you think we had a great chance after two minutes against City, yeah. and if that goes in two minutes into a new season at you know, a very busy Goodison, that could have completely changed everything because that confidence level would just have soared. But when, when there's that missing clarity in the system, probably from me, in terms of uh, everybody buying into that and knowing the rules 100%. You then start, confidence goes a little bit. You then feel as if you're getting exposed in an area of the park. You then lose some cheap goals. You know, confidence can quickly disappear. And, and I think that's what happened. And, you know, in the context of a full season, a defeat to Man City and a defeat to Chelsea is not a problem. Uh, you know, when it happens two games in a row, the first two games of the season, it it exaggerates those results, I think, in those those uh, those losses. So th that's not helped us, but we've got a chance to start accumulating points now, and and we well, we obviously need to do that as quickly as possible. Have you have you done a little soul searching? I guess it is, but looking at the system and and has it made you question what you're doing, or is it something that you think that system will work long term because you have made the changes? Yeah, it's not a question of what I'm doing long term. Mm. Uh, we have put together a squad that we think or know that we'll be flexible. Yeah. I think in modern day football you need to be flexible. Yeah. I think every top team across the world has has tweaks in their system. It may look the same on paper, but it will play differently. Yeah. And that doesn't matter if that's Rafa, if that's uh, Pep at Man City, or if that's Emma Hayes at Chelsea Women. You know, yeah. I think every manager has, has has plan Bs, has plan Cs, has, has different ways of playing the same system, has different systems to play, so we've put together a flexible squad for that and uh, you know I've certainly reflected, uh, as I always do, international break's a great chance for me to reflect, get a couple of days off and then really look back at what's happened in between those those international windows and I've done that and uh, I think I know the reasons why we've started like that and uh, some of those reasons we can change immediately and do something about immediately and some of those reasons we just need to be patient. Birmingham Saturday, yeah. Uh, is this because of the international break as well? Is it almost a chance to reset and go right? You know, this is a game that we can really get our season up and running with. It almost feels like the start of the season again. Yeah. I think because uh, the international break comes so quickly, uh, and then obviously we're disappointed, and, and we want to learn from that, but but move on from it. Uh, it almost feels like a restart, yeah. and uh, and hopefully that is the case, and hopefully we start that restart uh, with three points. That's the aim. We're at Walton Hall Park for the first time this season. We're on a new playing surface, which is exceptional, as you can see today. Uh, the players will be looking forward to it, and uh, we're really looking forward to getting settled in here now properly with fans 
and, uh, and, and, and make, this, make this a fortress. I mean, that's the hope that obviously Everton, the, the men's teams are home as well on Saturday, yeah. so this is an early kick-off. So it's an opportunity for, for supporters to take in, to have a double header really, take in both games and I guess you want as many people in here as you can, you can and to cheer the team on. Yeah, of course we want to, I think we've got a slightly restricted capacity just now, but we want, we want to hit that capacity on Saturday. You know, we've went for so long as football supporters not been able to get to games. Yeah. We've now got a chance to go to two in the one game, uh, in the one day. Yeah. And that for Everton fans will hopefully be a huge carrot that they can cheer on two Everton victories in the space of only a few hours. Be lovely, and it's obviously very close to Goodison Park as well, so there's, there's no excuse. A mile, you know, <laughs> even the slow walkers, it would only take 20 minutes. So. <laughs> Willie, thanks very much no, for your time. You. Good luck for not only Saturday, but for the rest of the season. Brilliant. Cheers, Cheers, thank, thank you. Time. Welcome to Toffee TV. I'm joined by Dan Turner, captain of Evans Women Team. Windy today. It's cool. a bit cold out cool. here. Uh, Dan, it's been a tough start to the season. Uh, what do you think you can take as, you know, as a squad from the first couple of games? Yeah, it's definitely been a tough ta start. I think we were dealt, no one wants to be dealt with City and Chelsea the first two games of the season. But um, it was a good indication of where we were at and where, because that's where we want to be ultimately, is competing with those teams. Um, so it's been a difficult start and um, disappointing. But uh, obviously we've had an international break now, um, which sometimes I think, you know, can be, you just want to get back out there as soon as you've had a defeat to rectify that. But, you know, it's given us time for you know, the players to go away, refocus, re-energise. You know, the girls have had successful training camp, so hopefully they'll come back with loads of confidence. You know, we've been, the rest of us have been working hard at, at Finch Farm. Um, but, you know, we've had some honest conversations as players about how we take accountability and responsibility for what we do on the pitch. And so, um, yeah, we've just been working hard trying to, you know, improve and rectify what's been going wrong. And yeah, we just want to kickstart our season against Birmingham on Saturday now. The, a lot of new players come in over the summer as a captain. How, how, how difficult is it? Have you think, how important is it for you to make them feel welcome and how easy have they integrated into the squad? Yeah, you know, every single one of them, you know, eight and nine new signings we've had have all integrated really well. I mean, it makes my job easier when the rest of the group is so good and welcoming. And I think, you know, everyone's integrated really well off the pitch and you can see that there's a real t t togetherness within the squad. So, yeah, the, the girls that have come in have been absolutely fantastic. And, uh, you know, the rest of the girls have made my job easier with that as well, <laughs> welcoming everyone here. So, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been in terms of like that off the pitch and, you know, the, the group environment's been re really good so far. Talking to Willie before and he was saying he, he threw a new system on you at the start of the season with a lot of players and, and that maybe contributed to, to a little bit of a slow start but do you feel like you're going to get into grips with that now as you go through for the rest of the season? Yeah, obviously when you, you, you change formation you've got a lot of new players, it does take time, it's not just going to happen overnight. Um, you know, having, you know, a few of us have like, we've played that system before and yeah. I think a few played for the national team as well. So it's not completely alien, but, yeah. you know, I think there's probably a lot more, maybe more grey areas in that system than to uh, maybe a natural back four, yeah. I'll say. But, um, so yeah, but, you know, whatever system Willie chooses to play, you know, we fully buy into that and, yeah. you know, we just got to respect that and yeah, just kind of buy into the system and commit to it. But, um, yeah, I think obviously, you know, throughout the season you've got to be adaptable and chop and change throughout these systems so yeah that's something but um yeah yeah you'll have to ask the manager about that one <laughs> he was he was quite honest in his uh, his appraisal of that yeah definitely it's uh, saturday birmingham at home opportunity you now they haven't started well they've had a couple of defeats as well so just, just the players look at this as a good opportunity to kick start the season especially with having the international break, it almost feels like it's the season starting again this weekend. Yeah, definitely. We said after that after Chelsea, you know, the girls will go away and then when they come back, then our season will really start then and hopefully everyone's got a renewed energy after that. And we certainly feel like we have and obviously being back here at Walton Hall Park, having the fans back here for the first time in 18 months will be really key to, to helping us get that win. But yeah, we think, you know, we'll, we'll still be confident going into the, the game on Saturday and as I say, hopefully, kickstart our season with three points here and you know having the fans back yeah it makes such a difference as well I believe you scored the first goal here at Walton Hall Park when this was there so you know <laughs> before Covid took over as well the last time fans were in so it'd be nice for you to get the first goal of the new season back <laughs> here when the fans are in as well <laughs> oh, I don't know about that I don't get that many but uh, yeah obviously scoring the first goal here was nice for me having been at the club for so long but mm. We lost the game, so yeah, <laughs> I, I traded winning the game for not scoring. But obviously, yeah, 
it, it would, would be nice, but I, to be honest, I don't, I don't care who scores as long as we get the victory here on Saturday. Definitely, and then finally, obviously, the men's team are playing as well straight after this own opportunity for fans to, uh, to get to see two Everton victories on Saturday. So, and with it being so close to Goodison Park, hoping that we can reach capacity here at the weekend. Yeah, I hope as many get down as possible and you know support us in the morning. And it's just a short walk to Goodison, so I know a few of us girls will be going there after our game. So yeah, just encourage everyone to get down here. What better opportunity for? a double header and as you say hopefully two Everton victories on Saturday. Fingers crossed. Dan, thanks very much for taking no the time. All the best for Saturday Cheers. and the new season. Cheers, thanks Cheers. a lot. I'm joined by Sarah Halpin here at Walton Hall Park ahead of Everton versus Birmingham City on Saturday. Sarah, we're at Walton Hall Park and uh, there's been a few changes since supporters were in the stadium before Covid hit. So do you want to tell us about what's, what changes have been made here? Yeah, of course. I mean, as you can see uh, in the background, the pitch is absolutely pristine. There's been heavy investment in, in the facilities here at Walton Hall Park over the summer, which is fantastic to see. And obviously the fact even that the women, Everton women, have our own purpose-built stadium is a really unique and, and big thing in women's football that sets us apart from the rest. So we're fiercely proud of that. And to now have the pitch improved, I mean, it's like carpet out here, yeah, it's gorgeous. It's and right, speaking yeah. to, you know, Willie Kirk and the girls, I know they're really happy with it. Yeah. Um, we've got more journalist benches over there and stuff are, um, we're expecting more people to be covering the women as it's growing and growing all the time so there's been more benches put in for the media side of things you've got the stand behind us as you can see there that's where been extended hasn't it it's been extended yeah. so that should house lots of Evertonians ready which hopefully uh, Evertonians that will hopefully be here on Saturday as part of the double header um, yeah going to have a massive new TV gantry over there. Yeah. Um, the, the girls' changing rooms have been done out. They've got their own unique spaces as well, designated for fantastic. each player. Uh, so it's just it's just fantastic. I mean, the facilities here are groundbreaking, really, and, and something that we're fiercely proud of, as I say. And just excited now to get the team here and get the first get the first game here underway. Been a, there has been a lot of investments in the in the women's side over the summer, anyway, and obviously new players coming in and everything else. And it's great to see that that investment and, and Everton moving forward as one club. But obviously the start of the season, the first two games were always tough fixtures. Mm. Hasn't gone as, as everyone would have hoped. But Saturday represents the opportunity to, to really turn, you know, get the season up and running. Yeah, I think Saturday, it, it's, it's we can't it can't come soon enough really yeah. i mean the girls quite a lot of our squad most of our squad have been away on international <laughs> duty yeah, i think yeah. we only had five girls left at finch this this uh, week which says a lot about the talent we've got in our squad mm. that so many represent in their country but the girls that went away did really well as well with the countries and hopefully that'll have lifted the ones that went away they'll come back feeling a little bit refreshed the girls that have been in this week will i know have all been working really hard so this is the perfect opportunity to kind of get them first points on the board, get them goals on We haven't scored yet in the season and that mm. I know is a massive thing. I think it's breaking that seal, isn't it? Getting that first goal hopefully will open the floodgates a little bit. Um, and I say it can't come quick enough because we want to get them first points on the board. We know we're good enough. It's just been a it's been a rocky couple of games, but mm. let's bounce back in front of our home fans as well and, and get this season kick-started, really. I mean, it, it represents a good opportunity because you know Birmingham arrive here having lost both of their opening two games as well. So... You know, both teams will be trying to get break the duck at the weekend. Someone will. Yes, yeah, someone, someone will. have well, all the Watch above, it be nil nil now. Both have, well, they both have a point, but I guess, I guess for, for Everton being at home and hopefully with the crowd here that they'll feel like this is a great opportunity to get up and run them. Yeah, they will definitely, as you said, you know, there'll be points on the board for one of those teams either way or both, but let's hope it's three points for the Toffees because, you know, we, we, we need the points and we deserve it. I think it's been frustrating. Um, it's so many new players come in and it takes a while to settle yeah, in and, and merge the team and everything like that and we tried a different system uh, as well and I think it's just a few factors that things didn't work out for us but mm. if we get the three points this weekend I'm sure we can put that behind us and look then to to build on what we've got and and hopefully have a really really good season with the girls because We've spoken openly and, and you know, the manager, uh, Willie Kirk, has, has spoken very honestly about ambitions um, that we want to try and, and get as close to that top three as possible. We haven't had the best start, but if we get a big win against Birmingham on Saturday, then the feel-good factor comes back in. We can start to try and build a bit of momentum. Um, 
Birmingham are going to be a bit like a wounded animal as well. So mm. let's pounce on them. Like let, let's make sure their <laughs> miserable start to the season continues. And then, you know, all the best to them after that. And then obviously, finally, it's a unique opportunity. I've not been able to go for footy for so long. A unique opportunity for Evertonians at the weekend to, to come to this because this game kicks off at 11.30 mm -hmm. on Saturday. And then less than a mile walk to Goodison Park for the, for the three o'clock kickoff. So a great opportunity for Evertonians to get down here before going on, on to Goodison as well later on. It is, and you know, it's stuff we've spoken about before as well, Baz, on, on the show, about how when you come down to Walton Hall Park and come to watch women's football, it's got that really authentic, old school, proper football <laughs> feel. You know, you'll be in the terraces having your pie or burger or whatever you're having. As you can see, you know, the, the fans are going to be basically on top of the pitch. Yeah. Like at Goodison, we like to be up close and personal so yeah. that the players can really hear us making that noise. and bring the kids down you know everyone everyone's welcome here and we want to see as many Evertonians as possible here um, and and start on this journey with Everton women as well and, and bring new fans in said if you go into Goodison Park if you go into the Norwich game why not get here a bit early come watch the girls come and back us and then you can come with me back over to Goodison because I'll be doing the show after <laughs> exactly, that so yeah. busy day for you. it's going to be a busy day but one that hopefully will bring a lot of joy hopefully you know uh, it'll be a win for Everton women and Everton on the day and we can all have a really nice weekend Lovely, sounds perfect. So you can get down here and watch Everton women take on Birmingham at 11.30 on Saturday. Big thanks to Sarah for joining us. We'll see you later.